hi everyone welcome back to another interesting tutorial my name is says you girl of sex fashion if you're new to my channel you're welcome please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified whenever i upload new videos to my returning subscribers thank you so much and welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial we're going to be learning some very important formulas and calculations you need to know in sewing there are times you might forget to take certain measurements on the body of your client or let's say a measurement is sent to you by your client and you find out that some measurements are missing not to worry there are formulas to achieve all of these and trust me they are very accurate and you can rely on them any day anytime they are very accurate and you can rely on them any day anytime make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss out on any formula let's get straight into the tutorials So the first formula we're going to be looking at is the armhole depth and the formula for calculating this is your bust measurements, let's say B for bust, your bust measurements divided by 6 plus 1.5. So let's say your bust measurement is 36 inches, 36 divided by 6 is equals to 6 plus 1.5 that is 7.5 so I'll be using the basic bodies pattern to illustrate what the armhole depth is so the armhole depth is the distance from your shoulder point to the chest point that is the distance from here to here is your armhole depth so in situations where you forget to take the measurements on your client you can always use this formula to get the armhole depth that is the bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 and it's accurate so the second formula we are going to be looking at is the bust pan what is bust pan bust pan is essential when you have to place your bust that or you want to create a bustier top or blouse Bust pan is the measurement from one nipple point to another. It's also called, some people call it the nipple to nipple point. And in situations where you don't have the bust pan available, that's not the problem. The formula to achieve this is very simple. It is the, your bust measurement divided by 8 minus 1 so let's say your bust measurement is 40 inches 40 inches divided by 8 is equals to 5 minus 1 is 4 so for someone that has a bust of 40 the bust pan is 4 hope that is clear enough so if you forget to take the bust pan measurement on your client's body you can always use this formula and it works out perfectly so the next formula we're going to be looking at is the sleeve cap height let's say you um, made a blouse or um, you have a top and you want to um, add your sleeve to it to drop your sleeve you will need your sleeve cap height and how do you achieve your sleep cap height? So let's assume this your fabric folded and you are about to draft your sleeve. And the first thing you would do is to measure the length of your sleeve. That is from here to here. Let's assume this is the length of your sleeve. And the sleeve cap height is that part where it curves to fit into your blouse. The formula for um drafting the sleeve cap height is your bust measurements divided by 12 is that simple if you notice like all the formulas we have been using the significant thing there is the busts like we've used the bust in all almost all the formulas 
that's because the bus is always one of the first things to take when you're um, taking your measurement on a client so the bus measurement is essential in almost all the formulas so um, let's say the bus measurement we're using is 36 36 divided by 12 is is equals to three so for someone that has a bus of 36 the person's sleeve cap height is three um let's assume this is our fabric on fold and we want to uh, draft the sleeve cap height that is from this point from the top of the sleeve to this part that is a sleeve cap height you measure three from the top to here the sleeve cap height then your armhole depth you come to your basic bodies and measure your armhole depth to make sure it fits because that is what you are going to use to draft this so it fits well when you are about to sew so let's assume this is the point where the armhole depth is then you draw a straight line from the top to this point then you measure the middle point and go up by half an inch then you draw a curve like this this gives you an accurate sleeve cap height and if you attach this to your fabric it comes out perfectly then you just draw a straight line from this point to meet your wrist and that is how to draft a sleeve cap height the formula to use is what first measurement divided by 12 is that simple hope it's clear so the next formula we are going to be looking at is the off shoulder neckline width the formula for getting your off shoulder neckline width is your bust span which we treated earlier plus one so let's say your bust pan is four plus one is equal to five so let's um, assume this is your fabric unfold your basic bodice block unfold and um, you want to draft your off shoulder neckline on your basic bodies you come down by four just as usual the way you draw you draft your off shoulder you come down from the chair and from the shoulder point you come down by four this will be your off shoulder point and you also draft your chest points which is the second line here is the chest point so on this uh, off shoulder neckline you mark your bust pan plus one that is your off shoulder neckline with you mark it on this off shoulder line then on this bust on this chest point you mark your bust measurement which usually is divided by four you mark your bust measurement here then you draw a straight line connecting your off shoulder neck point to your chest point hope that is clear so let me use this drawing now as an illustration your off shoulder neck width line is this line here is this line here so unfold it's going to be divided by two but as it's open here that's going to be your off shoulder neck width and uh, neckline width that's five times two so this is it here let's say your off shoulder neck width line off shoulder neckline width is five times two is equals to ten so for someone that has um a bust pan that is four the off shoulder neck width here from this point to this point is 10. hope that is clear so that's it for off shoulder neckline width the next thing we are going to be looking at is the off shoulder sleeve that is the sleeve that's attached to the off shoulder neckline to have a complete off shoulder top so the next thing is off shoulder sleeve once you've got your off shoulder neckline to get the sleeves you measure your round off shoulder and then subtract what you have as your neckline for example let's use this our drawing again let's say this is the round 
off shoulder and in our previous calculation where we found the off shoulder neckline width that is from here to here after measuring the round off shoulder you are going to subtract the off shoulder neckline width from the round off shoulder so the formula for finding your off shoulder sleeve is your total round off shoulder you take it on the body of your client off shoulder minus the neck line width oh. so this is the formula for finding your off shoulder sleeve so um let's say let's use our <laughs> our drawing again uh, you measure both the front and the back off shoulder neckline width that's from this point to here you measure it um on our previous calculation it was 10 when it's open not unfold it was 10 so the front and the back together gives us 20 that is 10 times 2 front and back together gives us 20 so let's assume the total round off shoulder is 40 minus as we said neckline width both the front and the back and in our calculation gives us 20 is equal to what 20 so this 20 now this is our off shoulder sleeve that is this point here and this point here they are two sides so basically this 20 is divided by two why because there are two sides but because we are going to be cutting our fabric on fold you are going to divide it by four instead of two hope you understand normally there are two sleeves so you divide it by two but because while cutting you are going to be cutting your fabric on fold you are going to divide this 20 by four which is going to give you here here and that's the front the two front and the two back that is four so the total off shoulder sleeve will go is going to be five hope you understand i hope this is clear so this is the formula for finding your off shoulder sleeve that's your total round off shoulder minus your neckline width gives your off shoulder sleeve don't worry i'm going to be doing a detailed tutorial on how to draft your off shoulder blouse thank you so much so the next formula we're going to be working on is the crotch depth what is the crotch crotch depth okay let's assume this is our trouser don't mind my drawing <laughs> okay let's assume this is our trouser the distance from the waist to this point <laughs> this place that is your crotch depth so let's say our fabric is on fold and we are cutting our trouser block this is how it looks like this is our fabric on fold while cutting. The distance from here, this is the waist to this point. That is the crotch depth. I see that most people find it difficult to get the crotch depth when drafting a trouser pattern. And sometimes we even forget to take the crotch depth measurements on our clients. Not to worry, the formula for deriving the crotch depth is your hip measurement your hip measurement divided by four let's say your hip measurement is 40 divided by four is 10. so when drafting your trouser pattern the distance from this place the waist to this point is 10. let's i have a detailed tutorial on how to draft your trouser so if you are interested in that you can check in the description box below i'm going to leave the link on how to do that so let's say this is your fabric on fold and you want to draft 
your trouser this is your waistline and on your hip line you you mark your crotch the distance from here from the waist to the hips is your crotch you mark a straight line this straight line indicates your crotch depth i hope this is clear enough so it's from here that you mark your lap measurement draw your curved line then mark it to the hem to make your trouser so basically the formula for getting your crotch depth is your hip measurements divided by four is that easy the next formula we're going to be looking at is the dart length if you're making a basic bodice pattern and you want to place a waist dart you need to know how long your dart should be okay um this is a rough work where i'm going to be illustrating what a um dart length is so um that length basically for the front dart is one inch below the bust and it ends two inches before the hips and for the back it starts one inch below the upper chest not the bust below the upper chest and it ends two inches before the hips so um this is the rough work to illustrate what a dark length is so for the front this is the front for the front okay this is uh, my neck this is my shoulders this is my bust point this is my under bust this is my waist and this is my hips let's say bust under bust waist and hips line the front that length i said it starts one inch below the bust and ends two inches before the hips that's you um you first of all measure the bust pan that's from here so yeah let's say this is the bust pan and draw a straight line down to the hip then you come down on this bust point you come down by one inch and on the hip line you come down on this line on this straight line you you mark your half inch on both sides and then connect to this one inch dropped waist one inch dropped bust that's you're going to draw a triangle like this or an arrow whatever you choose to call it you draw it like this then on the hip line it's it starts two inches before the hip that let's say this is two inches you are going to still connect it looks like a kite basically it's going to look like this one inch below the bust and two inch be before the hips okay then for the back we said it starts one inch below the upper chest and ends two inches before the hips so let's say this is your chest your bust line your under bust line your waistline and your hip line it starts one inch below draw your bust pan first as usual a straight line straight line one inch below the chest line and ends two inches before the hips so on this waistline you connect from this chest line connect with the waistline after marking your half inch on both sides connect it like this then you connect it to the hip point that so this is it for your that length hope this is clear enough when i'm drafting my um basic bodice block i'm going to talk more on this that length so stay tuned for when i upload the basic bodice block video the next formula we're going to be looking at is the flare and um, the 180 degree flare and the 360 degree flare these are the two major flare used in sewing the 360 degree flare is a circle so when drafting a dress or a sleeve or whatever you want to be attaching your flare to and um, let's assume this is okay let's use a dress for example let's assume this is your dress rough work <laughs> let's assume this is your dress and you are attaching flare at the bottom of the dress 
this part this is the radius the middle part of the circle that is where you are going to be joining to the up part of your bodies to make a full outfit so the formula for calculating the 360 degree flare is your waist circumference the part where it's going to be joined to the upper part of the blouse your waist circumference that's this part round waist circumference divided by 6.28 so let's say your waist is 30 divide by 6.28 is equal to 4.27 so let's assume this is our fabric which is going to be folded it's going to be folded into four like this fold it like this and we want to draft a flare you put your you insert your radius measurement here from this point you measure down 4.27 down here keep measuring round 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 4.27 like that this gives the radius then from this point you measure your skirt length and mark it all round then let's cut it to see how it looks so this is your flare sketch you can see it's already giving the flare effect so let me say you are uh, using this to draft a flare sleeve or any part you want to add any part of the body you want to attach it this is how you cut it whatever let's say you are using a sleeve is and um, you are attaching it to a sleeve you you use your sleeve circumference and divide it by 6.28 to get the radius of the sleeve so for the 180 degree flare 180 is half of 360 so you use half the radius of 360 degrees for your 180 degree flare so half of your 360 degree flare is 6.28 divided by 2 which is 3.14 so the radius for 180 degree flare is 3.14 so let's use our paper to illustrate that Fold your fabric into four. How to cut a flare skirt as usual. Then from this point, from this point, you measure down your 3.14 round like this. Then from here you measure the length of your skirt and you cut it. And this gives you your 180 degree flare it's not as full as the 360 degree flare 180 degree flare is usually used when making ball dresses and you know all those long flare dresses while the 360 degree flare is used when you are drafting peplon and others so now we've come to the end of this video I'll put I've put together eight videos in total so please go through all of them and apply them kindly leave your questions in the comment section thank you so much for watching god bless you and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos see you in my next video thank you bye